China's People's Liberation Army enhances the capability of its helicopter fleet. The People's Liberation Army is developing its own indigenous helicopters, including a heavy attack helicopter akin to the American AH-64 Apache. The People's Liberation Army PLA once relied on Russian-manufactured and reverse-engineered European helicopters, but the country's aerospace industry is now designing and manufacturing a range of indigenous helicopters. The latest platform to emerge is a brand new heavy attack helicopter akin to the American AH-64 Apache. Low-resolution images of the new attack helicopter performing flight testing started circulating on the internet in late March. It is speculated that this secretive new helicopter achieved its maiden flight back in January. Its official name is still uncertain, although many call it the Z-21. This current generation of Chinese platforms likely compares favorably to its U.S. counterparts. The new helicopter tentatively designated as Z-21 by Chinese military observers also appears to incorporate some of the PLA's latest combat helicopter features such as upward-facing engine exhausts to reduce its infrared signature. A new video posted on the social network Weibo reveals the Z-21, the latest heavy attack helicopter undergoing flight tests in China. Observed this week, the Z-21 prototype appears to be at an advanced stage of development. This development marks a significant step for the People's Liberation Army in enhancing its aerial capabilities. The Z-21 exhibits notable similarities with the American AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. The aircraft features pronounced lateral fairings extending from the nose to the tail, reminiscent of those on the Apache. Although derived from the Z-20, the Z-21 is distinguished by an attack-optimized configuration, with a slimmer fuselage adapted to a tandem two-seat arrangement typical of modern attack helicopters. Design elements from the Z-20 are visible, particularly in the rear section with an unswept horizontal stabilizer. The stub wings, equipped with pylons, suggest an increased capacity for carrying armaments. The current absence of a chin-mounted gun might indicate an early development stage, although it is anticipated as a future standard feature for this type of helicopter. Notable features of the Z-21 include improvements in self-defense systems and a design aimed at reducing its infrared signature, notably through the upward orientation of the engine exhausts. These aspects are intended to enhance its battlefield survivability. The Z-21 shares several similarities with the AH-64, reflecting a convergence in attack and utility helicopter design concepts. Both helicopters have robust power plants, though the Z-21 is distinguished by the upward orientation of its exhausts to reduce its thermal signature against infrared-guided missiles. The cockpit of the Z-21, with its combat-optimized configuration, resembles the advanced pilot station of the AH-64, designed to maximize pilot visibility and operational efficiency. Both aircraft feature similar prominent fairings and have strategically placed guns to provide significant firepower. The stub wings beneath the engine air intakes, designed to carry various armaments, underscore the versatility and enhanced combat capabilities of these helicopters. These similarities demonstrate ongoing adaptation and innovation in military helicopter development while retaining proven elements that strengthen operational effectiveness. According to reports, the state-owned companies Harbin, responsible for the Z-20 and Chang'e, which produced the Z-10 combat helicopter, are involved in the development of the Z-21. The 600 Second Research Institute, which played a key role in the development of that Z-10, is now also to be involved in the development of the larger Z-21. According to as yet unconfirmed reports, the Z-21 is to enter service in just two to three years. On the other hand, the Z-20 has already been spotted with weapons, cannons and sensors that could be associated with the new combat helicopter design. The development of the Z-21 is the result of collaboration among several entities in China's defense industry, including Harbin and Chang'e, as well as the 602nd Research Institute. These partnerships reflect China's integrated approach to developing its military capabilities. The Z-21 is seen as a complement or even a potential replacement for existing attack helicopter models in China's arsenal, such as the Z-10, with service entry expected in the next two to three years. Its introduction underscores China's ongoing efforts to modernize and expand its armed forces, particularly amid increasing regional tensions. The most remarkable thing about the tentatively named Z-21 is its derivation from the Z-20 utility helicopter. 
Andreas Ruprecht, a German expert on Chinese aviation and author of books on PLA aircraft, told ANI, now with the first images at hand, it's almost surprising that we didn't put together those pieces we've known for years. The Z-20 itself is now a mature system. We have seen several prototypes sometimes referred to as an assault version with additional sensors and weapons, and so a Z-20-based design that uses the proven powertrain, transmission, engines and tail arrangement mated to a new slimmer fuselage all makes perfect sense. By making use of Z-20 components, China can accelerate the new platform's development and also reduce risk. Reusing the Z-20's tail boom, the new Z-21 has a slim, tandem seat fuselage with wide cheek fairings, just like the Apache does. Like modernized variants of the Z-10, the Z-21's engine exhausts face upwards to reduce the aircraft's infrared signature and thus improve its chances against surface-to-air missiles. Its armament features a cannon, likely of 23mm caliber, as well as a pair of stub wings that each possess three weapon stations for rockets and missiles. The scant photos available so far show that the nose of the Z-21 resembles that of the Russian Mi-28N helicopter. A millimeter wave radar could eventually appear on the platform, akin to the longbow radar on the Apache. The release of this video offers a rare glimpse into China's heavy attack helicopter program. As the country continues to invest in modernizing its military, the Z-21 could play a significant role in future PLA operations. This current generation of Chinese platforms likely compares favorably to its US counterparts, which should come as no surprise given the latecomer catch-up advantage and the proliferation of technological expertise. As well as the PLA ground force, the PLA Navy Marine Corps might eventually adopt the Z-21. The Z-21 is to enter service in just two to three years. On the other hand, the Z-20 has already been spotted with weapons, cannons and sensors that could be associated with the new combat helicopter design. One might wonder why the PLA needs another attack helicopter, given that it already has several hundred Z-19 scout reconnaissance helicopters and Z-10 attack helicopters in service. Military experts view the Z-21 as a key factor in potential conflicts involving Taiwan or India, highlighting its ability to operate at high altitudes. This capability is crucial for operations in mountainous terrains and could enhance China's offensive capacities in these regions.